Okay, so this video is about depreciation. Uh, so here's a basic introduction to what it is and basically how to account for it. Uh, so depreciation is um, expensing the cost of an asset over its useful economic life, or writing off the asset over its useful economic life. Okay, so uh, on the board I've put a little chart. I've suggested the cost of an asset is 100 and its useful economic life in the business is four years. So the idea is that you need to expense the cost of that asset over the four years. You may pay for it on day one, but you'll expense the asset over four years according to the matching concept or the accruals concept, which says you should match income and expenses in the period to which they relate. So the appropriate period to expense an asset would be in each of the four years of its useful life, where it's earning benefits, hopefully, for the organisation. So you'd match the expense of the asset with the benefits it's earning in the right period. That's what's going on. It's not about saving any money up to replace the asset or anything other than that. It's to do with the matching concept and spreading the cost or the revalued amount over the useful economic life, and we'll come to revaluations in a minute. Right, so um, here's the chart then. As you can see from the chart, each year we've got the same depreciation charge to the income statement, IS being income statement, because one method is to have a straight line, uh, the same expense each year. And the balance sheet entries will always show, first of all, what the original cost was, or revalued amount here, the original cost, and each year this thing called accumulated depreciation, which I've sort of summarised. Accumulated depreciation, 25 the first year, after the second year we will have charged 50, after the third year 75, after the fourth year the full 100 will have been charged expense to the accounts. So something called NBV, net book value, is the amount of cost, or revalued amount, that hasn't been used up yet, that's still there. So, at the end of the first year, we've still got 75 of the cost remaining, because we've only expensed 25. And so on, through to the end of the fourth year, when all of the cost has been used up, all of it's been expensed, so there's a net book value of zero. Doesn't mean to say the asset's not still there, but we've expensed it over those four years. So, how does it work in our little tier accounts? Well, there's the asset itself. I've suggested a building. Um, and this building cost 100. At some point in time, we pay from the bank 100. Let's say that was two years ago. We were at the end of now the third year. So we've had two years worth of depreciation on it. We've come to the third year and we're going to put another year's worth of depreciation. So the balance at the end of the second year, which will already have been done on accumulated depreciation, would be 50. Now we're coming to the end of year three and we've got to put year three's depreciation charge in. So year three depreciation charge is going to be 25. Okay, so we're going to charge to the income statement, we could do that directly if we wanted to, just say to an expense called depreciation or straight to the income statement, 25. You could have a separate T account here that says depreciation expense if you want and you could debit that with the expense and then send it later to the income statement or you can just put it there and then send it direct to the income statement doesn't matter which way you do it um, I'm just going to leave the accumulated depreciation account up because it's briefer so opening balance 50 income statement charge 75 so at the end of year 3 um, balance carried down, it's going to be 75, then balance brought down at the beginning of year 4, 75, waiting to receive the subsequent and last 25 for year 4. Okay, so we can top and tail that like that. That's basically how it works. Um, we keep tabs on the cost, that sits there each and every year, and each year on accumulated depreciation, the amount accumulates. 
in the balance sheet, we can then show the cost, the accumulated depreciation against the asset, and what the net book value then is, and in the income statement each year, we show a charge. Okay, so that's basic depreciation. In the next clip, I'm going to talk about some policies associated with depreciation, and uh, some methods, and um, also how we deal with any changes in useful economic life, and what happens with a revaluation.